Hi there. Thanks for checking out my journey video series where I'm documenting the lessons and the challenges associated with growing a YouTube channel and video blog. My name is Rich O'Ban and I'm the founder of The Motivation Mindset. Today I want to talk about something that's not necessarily directly business related, although it is related to my business, and that has to do with the consumption of books, uh, specifically whether audio books or traditional reading of books uh, is advantageous one you know one is better than the other and it's applicable to me and my business specifically because you know I am researching and learning about motivation so I'm const constantly reading academic research papers or books or articles on the topic and some of them tangentially related to motivation but in related to you know the brain and how the brain works and, and cognitive biases and things like that which tie into motivation and so I wanted to share something that I've I guess kind of slowly come to the realization of lately and you know I I am constantly like I said learning about motivation by doing reading and so you know the one of the things that I try to do is maximize the amount of time that I can spend consuming content that I can hopefully in turn use in some way to share with my audience in the in the form of uh, vlog posts that I produce or even you know videos like this and so one way that I maximize that that time is to you know not only read books but also to consume audio books. So then that way when I'm you know when I'm taking a shower or brushing my teeth or going for a run or driving in the car or you know doing chores around the house, I can listen to uh, an audio book and be learning at the same time as long as the task that I'm doing doesn't require too much you know active active thinking. And so one of the things that I have discovered recently and not maybe not discovered one of the things that I've kind of realized recently is that the process of listening to audiobooks seems to help me to gain insights better and so what I mean by that is, is that I, I've noticed that I tend to make connections between what I'm hearing in the audiobook to other things or other ideas that I've learned about or read elsewhere more so when I'm consuming content via audiobooks than when I am reading. Not that it doesn't happen when I'm physically reading, but it seems to happen more when I'm consuming audiobooks. And so I, you know, I did a little little research into it, which is a big surprise, right? But I, you know, did a little research into it trying to trying to figure out, you know, why that may be and why while the, the science of it is not necessarily, you know, conclusive one way or the other, you know, I learned that, you know, there's really essentially you know, in a simplistic model, there's really a couple of different parts or processes, if you will, of of quote unquote reading. Uh, you know, it, considering audiobooks as also reading. So anyway, the, the the two processes of reading in the traditional sense are decoding and then language processing. So the decoding part is you know the physical act of you know recognizing the patterns and the shapes of the letters and the words on the page and you know turning those into sounds, if you will, or you know, how, how you would hear it if somebody was speaking it in your mind. And then, so that's the first phase. And then the second step is the actual language processing, trying to uh, understand and extract meaning from those words that you, that you just decoded. And so uh, from what I, what I understand and kind of applying it to my own personal experience is that that it seems like the the decoding part, while it's not necessarily a challenge too much for adult readers, you know, the, the act of decoding is, is pretty ingrained and kind of happens more or less automatically. When you're listening to an audiobook, there's there's really none of that. You somebody is reading to you the contents. So you don't have to physically go through and take that extra, you know, uh, mental step of actually doing the decoding. So it seems like that maybe takes some of the psychological, or not psychological, some of the uh, cognitive burden off of your off of your brain. You still have to do the language processing, just like you would in in reading and trying to understand meaning. But but the first part is is kind of relieved of you. And then the second thing has to do with a term that I had never heard of, which is called prosody, and that is basically the 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 way that the, the reader, the person who's who's reading the content is their intonation and the, the, the way that they stress certain words and the pattern and the rhythm of the way they, uh, they, they convey the information. And so when you're reading text on a page, you have to kind of infer, you know, unless, unless there's actually, you know, 
words bolded or something like that, which in many times in books they're not, you have to kind of infer the emphasis in, in the way that the, the author intended it. Whereas when you have somebody reading it, many times it's the author themselves reading it, uh, then that that part of it is is not left open to interpretation. It's really coming through in the way that it was intended to be to be emphasized or to be conveyed. And so that I think also helps to, you know, in some subtle ways to convey the the overall message of the material in a better way than you would get just by by reading the words on the page. So I think those two things combined, you know, the 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 not having to do the decoding piece and then also getting the the, the intonation, the prosody of the reader conveying more more depth and more um, texture to the, to the to the material that it helps you to uh, kind of ingrain it and to absorb it and to internalize it in a way that that allows you to make maybe you know a couple little more subtle connections here and there to other uh, you know existing knowledge structures in your brain because you are able to to really grasp it and, and fully comprehend it you know maybe at a slightly deeper level than you would just by by you know, reading the content in the traditional sense, and that's I think what allows allows me and, and probably other people as well to be able to gain those insights and, and connect those pieces of knowledge to to other things that you've learned uh, in in a, in a more deep way. You know, just recently I had this happen to me where I was listening to a book about about learning. The book's actually called How We Learn, and there was something in there that that you know out of the blue just kind of made a connection to me a, a connection. Uh, to something that I had read months ago in the book, the the Talent Code, you know, specifically about you know how you can use you know strategic quitting, if you will, to to your benefit, and how that idea ties into the concept of of deliberate practice in in the Talent Code. And if you read that book, uh, you may be familiar with that terminology. So that was you know the, an, an interesting insight that just you know kind of appeared to me as I was listening to that book. So it's those kinds of things that, that I find happen pretty frequently when I'm listening to audiobooks and it's 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 a pretty cool, you know, thing when it happens and and uh, so that I I've, I've not only enjoy listening to the audiobooks for the for the value of the content that I get, you know, from the from that book directly, but also the the connections that it allows me to make to to other things and, and kind of develop that that integrated, you know, higher level understanding of of the the, the brain and the motivational aspect of it and how the brain works and and, and grasps content and underta- understands material at a, at a higher level and so I really I really enjoy that process and have found it, it beneficial uh, to to both mix like I said the audiobooks with the traditional reading and it's been something that has really helped me to expand and, and develop my my depth of knowledge uh, since I've been studying this material for the last couple of years so uh, hopefully that's something that you can take away and, and can use it in your own personal life, whether it's for your business or just uh, you know your your own personal learning. But I thought that that was an interesting insight, and I thought I would share that with you today. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you the next time.